So welcome back to my wonderful week of uploading every day. This is day four, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, even though yesterday's video kind of went up on today. Well, last night. So I know, I know I talked about headphones yesterday, but I have a new video for you today. Today, we're going to be talking about these guys. The AirPod Pro. So, if that seems interesting, stick around. Alright, I know I did headphones yesterday, and I know I spent most of the video going on about how I didn't think the AirPods were the right headphones for me, and boy, I was wrong on that one, especially with the AirPod Pros. Now, this really isn't going to be a full-on review style or anything. This is just going to be me sharing my first impressions of using these. I've only had them, well, since around lunchtime, uh, so that's probably, what, you know, five or six hours at this point, and I am blown away by these at this point. But there are a couple little flaws that I've noticed, and now that I've heard them, I can't unhear them. So I'm going to share those with you just because I feel like it's important. And we'll see how much I notice it over the next couple weeks, and we'll circle back and follow up on the AirPods Pro. Before I get too technical on the matter here, I just want to quickly go over the just kind of looks of these. They're completely different, yet still the same as the original AirPods. Looking at the case, it is a little bit bigger than the original. It's pretty much if you turned the original on its side and just added just the tiniest little bit to the top. The AirPods themselves still retain that same look as the originals when they're in your ear, but being a little bit shorter on the stem. And I kind of like that. If you look at the two side by side, you'll see that it's a decent bit shorter. And I think that makes it look a little bit better in your ear, honestly. And it fits a lot more comfortably because you can actually tell that these are going in your ear rather than just kind of setting the old AirPods in your ear. Obviously, the most important part of these AirPods is the active noise cancellation, and that's where I want to spend a little bit of time kind of not really complaining, but sharing what I noticed within my first couple of hours using them, and specifically using them on my commute home on the bus. The active noise cancellation in a small earbud like this isn't going to be great. Like, just like any earbud is not going to sound like a over-the-ear pair of headphones like those Sony MDR7506s I love so much. But it's pretty damn good for what it is. Now, with the active noise cancellation, there is one problem that I would like to touch on. It's really designed for a white noise situation, or just to drown out background noise. For example, in the office, I have a printer next to my desk, and people come in and they print things all day, every day, and I always hear this printer in the background. I put in the AirPods, and I just kind of sat there listening to some music with they, with the active noise cancellation turned on, and I saw people come and go for the printer, but I never heard it turn on. I did hear a couple clicks, and, you know, if somebody used a stapler, I could hear that in the background, and if somebody talks to you, you can almost make out what they have to say, but not quite. While the noise cancellation is great for background noise, white noise, just kind of like traffic noise, or fans, or anything that's constant, not changing, it's not great for a very dynamic environment like the bus ride home today. One of the things that I did notice is it did a great job at drowning out the actual sound of the bus engine, but it didn't do so good when it came to the rattling in the in the bus when it went over bumps. That That's fine, I, I accept that because I understand the limitations of active noise cancellation. The way Apple is doing this active noise cancellation is using the same drivers that are in the earbuds to reproduce your audio and using those drivers to do the active noise cancellation. And that's fine in most environments, but like this bus environment, things get a little wacky. The noise cancellation is trying to cancel out the noise in your environment, whether it can or can't. Now this is where the problem lies. 
if it can't actually cancel out that noise, or that noise is too loud for it to cancel out, you actually notice that in the music you're listening to. So if you're listening to a real bass-heavy song, and the bus, for example, goes over one of these bumps and things rattle and it's trying to cancel that out, you actually hear a bit of your music kind of just like go down a little bit while the drivers are trying to reproduce the noise canceling noise and your music. That is the biggest problem that I have had so far with these. Along with the noise cancellation portion of the AirPods Pro, Apple has introduced a mode called Transparent Mode. And this is really an interesting mode for headphones because I don't think I've ever seen a pair of headphones that does this. If there is a pair, link it in the comments. I'd love to actually get my hands on it and try it and compare because I don't have any experience with a mode on headphones like this. Transparent mode is the closest mode to the original AirPods. It's essentially taking the external microphone that it would be using for noise cancellation and just bringing that into the AirPod. And it sounds pretty natural, honestly. It's not that noticeable once you have it in for a couple of minutes. And I think it's a wonderful improvement over just having a standard earbud in your ear with the silicone or the foam tips and just not really being able to hear anything around you. This really kind of enforces the fact that Apple just wants you to keep these in your ear all day and just use them to talk to Siri or use them to answer phone calls or texts or anything like that. And with these three different modes, the noise cancellation, the off mode, and the transparent mode, I think it's actually quite viable to just leave these in your ear all day. Even if some people might not ever talk to you because they think you're always having music on in your ears. But that's a different problem. The final little bit that I'd like to touch on with the AirPods that I think is something that's really cool about them is normal earbuds, like the Jaybirds for example, when you take off the foam bit, you have the driver that is kind of sticking out a little bit. And you put the foam on and you feel that in your ear. That's kind of the pressure that you'll feel in your ear when you have those uh, in there because they can't form properly to your ear. The AirPods don't have that. When you take off the ear tip, it is completely flat. Sorry about focus. Uh, it's completely flat and the ear tips are a very proprietary design that just snaps right on there. So given that these tips are the proprietary Apple design, you might be afraid that they're going to cost a lot of money to replace. Well, I have good news. They're only $4 for the set to replace them if you do happen to lose them, but they do feel pretty rugged, and once they snap on, they're staying in place. So unless you lose your other sizes and for whatever reason need to change sizes or you just think they got too dirty, you can just go to the store and pick up a whole new set of tips for just $4 and I think that's a pretty good deal considering what this product is. Just a few quick little ending comments about the AirPods Pro before I have a chance to actually do a full review and listen a lot. I do think they have improved the sound. The high end is much tighter and much more present on snares, hi-hats, and female vocals, unlike the original AirPods. The bass is still a little bit loose, but it's tighter and more balanced with the rest of the earbud. It's still a little bit mid-heavy, just like the original AirPods, but that's primarily because podcasts. Now, that's fine with me because I want to be able to hear podcasts anywhere, no matter which mode I have these in. And I think these AirPods are a great deal for only another $50 more than the wireless charging case version of the AirPod version 2s. It's definitely worth sinking the little bit of extra money into it to get a pair of the Pros. Now, if you already have AirPods, is it worth it? I think so. Even after using them just for a couple of hours, I can already tell that these are going to be my primary headphones for quite some time, unless I find something that happens to do all of these things and more, but better than the AirPods. If you don't already own a pair of AirPods, I would say 100% go for the Pro. It is worth every extra penny. So that's kind of my first thoughts on these. I'll have some more detailed information and a, probably a better review maybe next week uh, when I have a chance to actually wear them for more than a couple of hours. But so far, 
I like them, and if you have a pair of AirPods Pro, just leave a comment and let me know what you think of them. And I'd just like to see how many people like these or don't like them. I think I'm going to wrap it up right about there. This video is probably already way longer than it needs to be. I hope to be able to get a full review of these out pretty soon once I have a little bit more time to use them like I was saying. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to get a video up tomorrow or Thursday because I have a whole bunch of things going on this week so I chose the wrong week to try this. So I hope you're enjoying my quest to upload a video every day this week and I hope you're also going to stick around for my quest to 100 videos on my channel. So if you want to follow along, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. If you liked this video, give it that good old thumbs up. If not, you can use the other button too down there. And thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you tomorrow. If not, I will see you Friday at the latest.